What's up everybody, this is Will. Today I have with me makeup artist Jackie Farias and this is the art show. What, what kind of inspires you to do what you do? What makes you want to be an artist and you know, fight and claw to get those opportunities against everyone else who's you know, doing the same kind of things? I think it's just like, I don't want to do anything else, like a uh, nine to five. I think ever since I was little, I didn't really feel like I fit the whole like school structure thing and having to follow these like rules. Like I always wanted to be in control of everything. And I think that this is perfect because I would be able to, I'm able to control my own hours. I'm able to work with whoever I want. I'm able, to, there's so many eras of like, so many different places to go with makeup. Like you could do weddings, you could do special events, you could do photo shoots, you could do runway, you could work with celebrities. Um, so since I moved out here, I've been kind of trying to figure out what it is that I'm truly passionate about. Yeah. And I think I, what I enjoy most has been photo shoots because it, it really allows me to be creative. Yeah. Um, I always liked doing art when I was younger too. Like I did painting, drawings, all that. The first time I ever got my makeup done was really like a defining moment because I think I'm like super in love with change mm -hmm. and to see myself in such a different way, yeah. I remember that moment so clearly like looking at myself in the mirror like, who, who is this? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. Yeah. It was just like an instant boost of confidence yeah. and, I, and I feel that that moment all over again every time I do somebody's makeup, like client. And it reminds me of that That's moment. How you do it, guys. So many women wear makeup, and I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions as to why they might wear that makeup. So I had a friend who told me like that girls wore makeup for dudes, like to impress right. them or whatever. And I was like, "That's not true at all," because I think the kind of makeup that I wear doesn't always like attract certain guys it might be a little too much or there's days where I will wear blue eyeshadow and like a red lipstick yeah like that's not to attract anybody that's just like sometimes how you feel within it's like you want to express it with colors and some girls maybe they do wear it because they have insecurities and that's totally fine there's nothing wrong with that you're not being a fake you're just kind of like enhancing what you already have and just kind of disguising what you don't want people to see. And we do that even with like our emotions sometimes We do too. that with clothes, I mean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's, there's so many ways. You're trying to accentuate certain things about yourself and certain things, mm -hmm. keep it on the low, so. Yeah. So makeup right. does. I wanted to ask you a little bit about what you brought here today. She came in with this huge LAX airport luggage bag. <laughs> and, um, so she's gonna give us a little, uh, little uh, rundown on what she brings to her shoots and stuff. I bring this kit to every single one of my shoots. It doesn't matter if I'm working a wedding, it doesn't matter if I'm doing a photo shoot, it doesn't matter how small or how big. Um, I kind of just like to work in the moment and see which ideas are influencing me then and there, what the person's wearing. This is like some James Bond shit right here. <laughs> yeah, let me this place this over here. Shit. Uh, in here, I just kind of have like my lashes. I have a lot of embellishments. Three drawers for brushes. If you book a shoot with Jackie, just know this whole James <laughs> Bond kit is coming with her. So, oh. so let's do something to you. Yeah. Oh, oh. We're doing something to me? Yes. I, I was thinking um, something I've never really done before, so. Let's hope this goes well. I'm All sure right. it will. I'm down, let's get to it. <laughs> what What do we got going? What's your idea for today? So, um, like I said earlier, normally when I work on photo shoots, I get kind of inspiration from the models, from the photographer, their vision, and my job is kind of putting in that last little puzzle piece that's gonna fit in. Um, so I pull a lot of inspiration from them, but when I don't always have that, I like to go on Pinterest and look at other artists and kind of get inspo from their work. So thinking something oh, wow, like that. Some cool stuff. This one right here. That is wild. You think we can do it? Yeah. Let's get it.
It tickles kind of. <laughs> My cousin Irma decided to take a backpacking trip to Europe and had a room available in Hollywood that she was renting out mm. as soon as my school shut down. So I told her, I want it. I saved up two grand, I quit my job, and I moved to LA. And I was alone. <laughs> like, I felt like such a big fish where I was from yeah. in a little pond that I had this like, cocky energy when I moved over here like I'm just gonna hustle hard I'm not gonna get a job I'm just gonna put everything into makeup when I move out there and when you move to a new city and you don't have friends and you don't have your family with you anymore and you're trying to live out your dreams like you don't realize how big of a toll it takes on you and now it's like LA is my home I'm just like really curious Shapes. as to what color my lips are uh, hot pink and blue. Really? If I'm painting and I'm like hating it, I just keep painting. It's, it's like really a little like mantra it. in my head. It's just like keep painting, keep painting. So I've been focusing like a whole lot this year on just staying positive and just minding your own business and living your life. <laughs> oh my god holy shit that's so cool yeah i'm never taking this off oh it's so sick don't get it on yeah me, how do you, you go like this <laughs> Thank you, dude. so as you can see we have finished or jackie rather has finished with her amazing piece on my face um any final words about the piece or uh, anything you want to say? I'm just really grateful for this whole experience uh, with you guys. You guys are great people and I'm glad that you guys appreciate artists from, too as well. from all different kinds of forms yeah. and I'm excited to see what else you guys are going to do and who else you're going to work with. Got some good stuff coming. Thank good you for coming. bringing me on board and letting me do whatever I wanted because it's the artist's whatever choice I here wanted. on the art show. So that's it, that's the first episode of The Art Show. And as tradition here on The Art Show, we give the guest a parting gift, something, um, you know, something close to our heart, something, you know, that we wanna give to you as a signifier that you've been here on the show and that we wanna thank you for all the hard work you've done here. So, Jackie. Oh, shit. We have for you the Sorry. first ever gift, <laughs> the first ever gift on The Art Show. Oh my gosh. From the heart. My From birthday. The heart right Another one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you, you like it? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, they're they're cones, but they can be titty capsules. Or, you know, whatever you want to use. Hello! Yeah, megaphone, <laughs> megaphone too. So, as the first episode comes to a close, we can sit back and reflect on the great artistry that has been done here today. Jackie, I want to thank you again for being the first ever person on the art show. It's been a blast. And, what an uh, honor. Sheesh. Yeah. Pressure. Um, you want to give any shout outs to your socials or? Uh, yeah, so you can follow me. Instagram is mua.jackie, J-A-C-K-I-E. Put it right here, right under my finger. And I guess that's the only one I'm going to give out. Instagram, so, go Instagram, follow her, M-U-A go Jackie. like all her pics. And then I'll let you know the Twitter once you get to the Instagram. Yeah, show her some love and uh, it's been an awesome episode. Thank you again, Jackie. Mm -hmm. The art show, baby, every week. Let's get it. It's a, it's a weird feeling being an art piece, you know, it's ambiguous, I have no idea what's going on, I don't know what colors are on my face, I don't even know what I look like anymore. <laughs>